Hello everybody, it's AMS. Uh, here recently found a gentleman on YouTube, uh, Smoke Eater 908. Uh, he makes different types of stoves, does some other different types of reviews. I bought a few things from him and he makes what's called the Hiker Stove. And he was kind enough to do a DIY uh, video on the Hiker Stove. And so I thought I'd give my hand a try at it and uh, just uh, see what happens. So I've made the stove. The stove's right here in the center. Uh, you have here is heat. And the reason it's this color is because I've added food coloring to it. So you can see it. Uh, hardware cloth. Uh, pot stand. Uh, have a monster pot here. And then the Snow Peak is the Snow Peak 600 titanium cup. And it has approximately two cups of water. So I'm going to light the stove. Uh, I just made this. It took me about four minutes to make. Um, we're going to see how it burns. Alright, so uh, right now the way you see the stove with the lid on it is in simmer mode. So I'm going to put it in high mode. And we're going to add one ounce of fuel to this stove. We're going to go ahead and put the stand on the stove and I have no doubt in my mind whatsoever that uh, there's going to be an issue with this uh, stove working. So let's go ahead and ignite it. So I have stove lit and I'm going to go ahead and add two cups of water to my pot. And we're going to set this on it. And let's go ahead and start the countdown on it. Let's see if uh, you guys can see, see the countdown. A little clock. And uh, I'll move this around. A little bit so while that's cooking uh, just a few tools that you need to uh, to make this stove uh, the hardest thing that I found was uh, trying to find these little tins um, I looked everywhere uh, on his uh, video that he made he talked about going to the dollar store and uh, locating these tins, uh, three for a dollar. I had no luck whatsoever, and I'm in the uh, Dallas area, and uh, no luck finding these stoves. The other items that you're going to need are going to be the uh, carbon felt. Uh, this is uh, what welders use. Ruler. punch, scissors or some other cutting device, and a stapler. On his video that he made, uh, he gave some links uh, that you could use to uh, uh, locate uh, these items. Um, one of those links is uh, to Tillman. Uh, they produce uh, welding supplies. Um, and so if you get uh, $25 or more, uh, you get free shipping with them. Uh, here's the 3x3 three three blanket. Uh, this was like 22 bucks. The uh, first piece of carbon fiber that I showed you uh, is a 12x12 12 12 square. And uh, I went ahead and bought it so it would put my order over uh, the $25 so I wouldn't have to pay shipping on it. As you can see, we're at like 2 minutes 29 seconds or so. And I already have a lot of fish eyes uh, inside the, the pot. We'll pull this up. Which look, there's the fish eyes. So you can see the stove's very very efficient 
and right now it's burning on on high um, to put it on simmer mode uh, all we do is uh, add the ring to it and it cuts down the burn the actual flame output on it uh, we're at three minutes and about eight nine seconds and you can see even more uh, this is almost at a boil uh, I'm very happy with this stove uh, like I said it's just uh, to get all the supplies that I needed I had to buy a container of 30 of these canisters uh, then the felt and also I have about fifty dollars total uh, tied up into uh, this project but we'll be uh, making these stoves and selling them for a few dollars uh, I think my scout troop uh, might do that as a project. Uh, I'll let the boys make a couple for themselves and then uh, go from uh, there with them. Uh, as you can see, uh, right now I'm inside, of course, so we don't have any wind problems. But you can take this carbon felt and you can actually make a, a windscreen uh, for this. In which, you know, if the good thing with this carbon felt, even if the flame was to, to touch this, it will not burn so you know and then of course you just kind of put this around the, the stove but you can see with an ounce of fuel in there the the output that this thing has on it is just unbelievable matter of fact I'm probably going to use a pair of pliers or something here to to pull this off uh, but like I said it's a it's almost to a boil and we're at four minutes and 40 seconds There's the inside. Uh, this pot is one that he made uh, out of the uh, Monster Energy can. And then what he does to give the cans uh, support is he makes a ring that he puts uh, on the inside of these. And uh, he even has a do-it-yourself video on uh, on how to to do that yourself that's still in the frame there so we're at five minutes 32 seconds and here's what it looks like And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and and pull pull this off. It's starting to to boil now. I actually have bubbles starting to uh, make their way to the surface. It's not a rolling boil at six minutes, but you know that's that's pretty good. If I wanted to cook something or whatever, that's all that I would need there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull it off, and we're going to. Uh, put the simmer ring on it so I'm going to uh, stop it at 22.5 and we'll pull the can off I'll go ahead and use my, my pliers to remove the wire cage Go ahead and use another can just to kind of snuff it out. All right, now let's put the simmer ring on it. Okay, now there's a simmer ring. Now remember, we still just had the uh, one ounce of fuel in it. All right, so we still have fuel. You can see the, the difference in the flame output with the uh, simmering on. So, and, uh, let's put her. our pot back on.
And let's start our stove back. So of course, you know, backpacking and, and all cooking, you know, basically all you really do is wind up boiling water to use on your uh, dehydrated meals and stuff. But, you know, if you wanted to do something a little different, then, you know, you could use the uh, simmering and actually uh, cook at a lower, lower temperature or lower flame output, rather. I wouldn't say lower temperature because it's going to be the same temperature, just a lower output. But anyway. Uh, we'll go from from there. The stoves that uh, he makes like this, uh, they can be uh, bottle fed, and uh, what he does, he puts a nipple onto the side of it with a silicone hose and a uh, fuel bottle, and then you just squeeze it as it starts to uh, to go down, and uh, adjust your flame that way, or just a top feed like this. And this is the way we'll leave it. Because uh, you know you got to buy the nipples, and then you got to take the time to insert the nipples into the the can and epoxy them in there, and all that other stuff. And it's just so much easier to do it this way. As you can see, uh, an ounce of water, I mean, an ounce of fuel. We're at seven minutes and forty-two seconds, and uh, the water is back to doing exactly what it was when I pulled it off. It is at a slight boil. It's not at a rolling boil yet, but you can see it's at a slot boil. And uh, really, that's all, all we need. So, very efficient stove. Uh, if you can find these tins uh, anywhere uh, for uh, 3 or $4, like you said, at the Dollar Tree, uh, you know, that and about a buck fifty or so for a bottle of heat. The most expensive thing is going to be this carbon fiber for you. But uh, like I said, you can, uh, as you can see, we're at a boil now. Uh, so you can, you know, it's like three bucks, five bucks for the uh, the carbon fiber uh, square, one foot square. And our stove is still going. I took that off about 840. So I'm going to say, you know, 840-ish at a simmer. Uh, we got the boil. Uh, you know, any questions, shoot me a, uh, a message and I'll try and answer them for you. Again, uh, this uh, idea came from Smoke Eater 908 uh, You guys check his channel out. A lot of good information out there. And uh, give me a subscription. Peace.